Howdy! You've joined me, Torley, for a session in how to customize your profile. And the reason why you'd like to do this is because you can share about yourself and what you're into for other Second Life residents to peruse. And here's how you do it. From the edit menu, click that and go right to profile. Click that and you'll see mine is pretty much blank right now. One of the first steps you want to do is fill in an interesting photo, replace this boring placeholder with something more colorful. You can just click on that to change it. The texture picker will come up. And I'm going to select, let's see what we got in textures. Oh, cute smiles. That's me and my pop. <laughs> I like that. It's very friendly and endearing. So I'll click select, and there it's right in there. Now, in the about section, I can enter my biography, stuff about me. Keep in mind this is the Second Life tab, so it doesn't have to be true to your first life. It can be fictional. It can be something very fantastic, such as, I'm descended from the great watermelon spirit. And there it is. And I can put something out there like, chat me up if you want to discuss cartoons and you can make it longer, up to 500 characters. And right here you see it says show in search. This lets you actually search this. So if someone was to use search to look for a watermelon spirit, then my profile would come up. But if you'd rather not, then you can opt out of that. But I like to opt in and be searchable, so I'll go ahead and click that. And the next tab we have here is the web tab. This is pretty straightforward. You enter a web page that you're fond of, and it will show in a browser here. Interests, that's pretty straightforward too. Just check off the things you like to do. I certainly like to explore. I certainly like to buy things, and I'm pretty good with textures, my skills. Uh, languages, English, and otaku. <laughs> Whatever tickles your fancy, really. In pics, wherever you go, let me just load that. It's going a bit slow. Uh, we'll come back to that in a bit. But in any way, classified is pretty easy. You can set classifieds of your goods and services for sale by clicking new. And in the first life tab, we have another tab where you can fill in another photo. I don't really have one at this moment, but I'll just go ahead and I'll just use something that is better than this placeholder, this little watermelon eye. Let's see what that ends up being. Okay, that will work. And info about yourself. This, can, this is usually first life info, like the real world, as they say. You can say, I work for Linden Lab, which I do. You probably don't, but you can put whatever you want in there, pretty much. And then my notes. This comes in handy to jot some quick notes. I don't really use it a lot. So the key things to focus on here are mainly the second life and your interests and the first life tab. And let's see if the pics has loaded. Okay, pics allows you to create a new, to bookmark your places like this, where I'm standing right now. You notice it just made a pic right there of Pathfinder Linden's office. And that lets people know, hey, I like this place. This is one of my pics, hence the name. I can even fly over and it creates a pic wherever you're standing. So if I stand here and I'm now on Jessica's place, if I create another pick by clicking new again here we go automatically adds it like that and after you filled all this in you can go ahead and click OK and you're done customizing your profile hmm great job over time you'll probably want to change things up some more open it up again and edit it and you might even have a partner or your payment info might change but that's second life and that's how you grow in here so have an awesome time doing so.